pray for me, maybe, but not, for, you know, at me, right? So this is not a religion. It's a way of life. These are values that you follow, and if you follow this way of life, you will lead a good life, people, a good life. Good things will come to you. Every day, every single day, I get, I get um, good things coming at me. And when good things don't come at me, yesterday I had something that came at me that in our, in our description wouldn't have been good, right? But I had to take it as a sign. There's something, I'm doing something within myself to call that situation to me. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So I didn't see that and get mad at the person who did that to me. I saw that as, what am I doing? What do I need to correct? How do I need to auto-adjust in order to make sure that I am doing what I need to do? Does that make sense? That's the difference between living life and allowing life to live you. Does that make sense? What do you think I would, uh, would have happened if I allowed life to live me yesterday? What do you think? Yes. I would have been angry, yes, exactly. I would have been angry. And then what? You might have acted out your anger. I might have acted out my anger, right? And I might have carried that anger all the way through, and then who would have gotten the brunt of it? Not that person, but who? <laughs> me and who else? Whoever got in front of me later on, right? <laughs> right? My kids, it's easy to, to get, take it out on, your, on the people that can't, that as much as they want to leave you, they can't leave you, which are your kids and your spouse, right? Because they, they have to put up with everything, right? So you have to realize that you are either, you, you're always in choice. You're either going to allow life to live you, which is a reactionary life, or you are going to live life. You are going to decide. This is, a new, this is news that came to me, and it's for a reason. And the reason is I have to look inside and see how can I be better. And then let it go. And that's what I did. I did what I had to do. I let it go. And then peachy keen. I just go on my merry way, and now I'm taking steps to make sure that that doesn't happen again. But I learned from that. Does that make sense? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. So do we see how ahimsa cannot violate satya and satya cannot violate ahimsa? They, they're they both connected, yes? Yes. Are we sure? Mm -hmm. Okay. Homework. Here's your homework. I want you to reflect tonight. I want you to write down a situation, a time, when you actually told a white lie and what happened. What what happened? What, what were you thinking that you could actually tell a white lie? Like, for instance, Jasmine telling her brother. What was she thinking? What was she thinking at that point in time? And... And what could you have done so that you could have told the truth or not? So in other words, you're going to evaluate how you can actually be in alignment with Satcha. So make sure you put that, that that's your Satcha homework. Do you guys understand what the homework is? Yes? Are you sure, Mother? Okay, guys. Let's get up.